Hello, everybody. Welcome to my presentation. The title of my research paper is called Charting Science Fiction in Computer Science Literature. My name is Phil Jordan, and my co-author is Paul Alexander Silva. Today's talk will consist of three parts. In part one, I will give a brief intro and background to science fiction and computer science research. In part two, I will outline the method of my research paper and some of the key results. In the last part, I will end this presentation with some conclusions and a view into future work. Part one, intro and background. So I would like to begin my presentation with this uh, piece of art. It's from an artist called Ward Shelley. It shows, in brief, the history of science fiction. And while this is a very complex image, if you look to the top left, you can see this starts with uh, some kind of fear and wonder. And different concepts uh, are integrated into this uh, history of science fiction. We have art, we have philosophy, and then down here at some point we find science. And then if we move forward uh, to the right, we find at some point distinct sub-areas and science fiction authors. For example, we have here uh, Jules Verne. We have here on the right space opera. We have the distinction of hard and soft science fiction. And this is just to uh, warm the audience up, to give a little bit of an impression of the complexity and depth of science fiction as a concept and a field. Uh, for the latter part of this presentation, I want to point out this area I'm trying to highlight here, which represents the science fiction films and movies. I personally focused a lot of my research and studies on science fiction media, specifically films and movies, because they must visualize certain inventions, interactions, and so on and forth making them potentially very useful for innovation, creativity, as well as ethical lessons. Now, let's become a little bit more concrete and just highlight uh, some links where science fiction media and real-world innovation link up, alike or collide. Uh, we see here on the top left of the screen two examples from Star Trek. Uh, one of the biggest science fiction franchises in the world. We see the Star Trek communicator as used by James T. Kirk in Star Trek, the original series in the mid 60s. And we see the uh, first clamshell phone in the world, the Motorola Star Trek introduced in the 90s. We also can see the medical tricorder uh, as depicted in Star Trek and Star Trek, the new generation which in turn inspired the XPRIZE Foundation to donate $5 million for the development of like prototypes of a medical real-world tricorder. More examples uh, which uh, align quite well with science fiction visualizations are the Back into the Future hoverboard and the Hendo hoverboard. Generally speaking, uh, foldable interfaces such as depicted in Westworld and real-world foldable mobile phones, robots of all sorts, including cleaning robots, as well as like uh, applications like uh, the needle table, as depicted, depicted in X-Men, which actually inspired a U.S. Army engineer reportedly to develop the Xenotran Xenovision Mark III dynamic sand table. After reviewing together a few selected examples where science fiction and real-world science collide, link up, interact or relate to each other, it is quite fair to say that it appears that science fiction, especially um, the introduced science fiction movies and shows, can be powerful vehicles to showcase either innovative, questionable or even controversial futures. Part 2. Method and Results Now, um, the topic of my paper is to understand where science fiction is used in computer science, specifically HCI research. 
And while it is nice to see these anecdotal examples I introduced earlier, I really wanted to know how science fiction is used in science. In order to do that and to better understand this relationship, what I did was I decided to research computer science communication. And the key research questions I pursued in my studies were the following. I was curious about the metadata characteristics of computer science publications, which talk about science fiction. I also wanted to know what specific science fiction, and that are the so-called science fiction particulars, do we find when a computer science research paper mentions science fiction? So maybe they talk about um, the movie Terminator, or maybe they talk about Hal from the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, or maybe they talk about Isaac Asimov. And I also was curious what the purpose of these references is. What are they being used for in the context of the research paper? And what research paper are we looking at in general? After having introduced my research questions, as well as having uh, conducted multiple pilot studies in the ACM Digital Library, we proceeded with an exploratory content analysis of science communication in the IEEE Explore Digital Library in this study. So what we did essentially was we did full text search for the term science fiction, as you can see it here on the slide, in the full like available IEEE Explore Digital Library. And we did retrieve about 2,800 records at the time, but after applying specific filters and facets among those, for example, filtering for records which were available to us at the time due to institutional subscription limitations, we retrieved a, a set of like 1,647 records, which we call C4. And due to feasibility reasons of the study, we randomly sampled 500 records of this candidate set of 1,647 records for this study. In total, we had 10 variables which we coded per record, including two interpretative variables. The first one was the type of research paper, and the second one was the context of the science fiction referral. For research tools, we used uh, Atlas TI, Microsoft Excel, and IBM SPSS. Now, as introduced, we had a total of 10 variables, among those the frequency of the science fiction referral or the location. We also had two interpretative or subjective variables, the type of the research paper with uh, these eight categories, for example, opinionated research contributions or empirical research contributions. These categories were derived from uh, Warbrook and Keynes. And we also had the subjective variable contextual usage of the science fiction referral with uh, overall three larger categories, referrals with a focus on innovation and creativity within the research paper, referrals with a focus on individuals such as a specific science fiction author or a scientist who was also like a science fiction author, as well as referrals which were integrated as part of the research paper method or found in the references. In order to account for a certain degree of validity, we conducted an inter-radio reliability analysis between my co-author and I of a total of 125 records, which we randomly sampled from the 500 total records reviewed in this study. With regards to Cohen's kappa, we retrieved 0.71 for the variable type of research paper, as well as 0.65 for the variable context of the science fiction referral. Both of these values fall into the substantial agreement category with regards to the magnitude of Cohen's kappa. Uh, for Krippendorf's alpha, we fall for the type of research paper uh, into the tentative conclusion susceptible category with a value of 0.71 and just barely but still 
Also, in the tentative conclusions susceptible magnitude level for the contextual usage of the science fiction referral. Overall, acceptable values to pursue coding the full data set. Now, let's look at some of the key results of this study. With regards to the records which mention science fiction, we find that from the 500 records in total reviewed, the vast majority mention science fiction one single time. That is, 380 records out of 500 mention science fiction one single time in the research paper. With regards to the type of research papers which refer or discuss science fiction as defined in the search query, we find that opinionated research contributions clearly dominate in our data set, with a total of 153 papers out of 500 being categorized as opinionated contributions. Noteworthy as well is that we did not find a single research paper which was classified as a data set, and that there were like quite large margins between the second and third most frequent categories in this study, the theoretical and the survey research papers, which accounted for like 77, respectively 71 papers, which uh, were categorized as these types of research studies or contributions. Now, with regards to the context of use of the science fiction referral, we have some interesting results here. First of all, uh, looking at like the three larger categories we had, it clearly shows that scientists use science fiction most often in the context of drawing inspiration and innovation into the research paper. The most frequent subcategory we find in all our 500 records here are research papers which discuss making science fiction a science reality. So papers who see a concept as being already realized but maybe inspired from science fiction or close to realization. We also have a huge uh, group of papers which discuss simply concepts which first were envisioned or visualized or written about in science fiction with 126 papers and a total of 70 papers which discuss unreal science fiction. For example, time travel. Part 3. Conclusions and future work. In conclusion, the goal of our study was to identify links and to some degree also influences of science fiction real-world computer science, or broadly speaking, science and art. And we believe we found these linkages. And while there certainly are like limitations when using science fiction, either in a research project or in the classroom, for instance, talking about the scientific veracity of the depicted content, we believe that the potentials we identified may it be for depictions of future of AI or technology ethics clearly outweigh the potential challenges and drawbacks. You can say that science fiction reimagines and science reinvents itself in sort of a, an ever-evolving symbiosis of both fields across time, space, medium, culture, politics, and generally speaking, zeitgeist. In future work, it would be quite interesting to conduct empirical studies. I'm thinking of uh, in-depth interviews, IDIs, with researchers on their specific reasons when deciding to integrate and use science fiction in their work and in their outputs. A second avenue to undertake would also to potentially assess the uses of integrating science fiction, popular culture and media systematically in STEM education and research across the board. And this is the end of my talk and I want to thank you for listening. P.S. I am always looking for new collaborations or projects in the area of science fiction and science. 
So be sure to reach out to me. Thank you again. This slide is for 